Hi everybody, happy Monday. We are gearing up to start week four. I was thinking about that as I was getting set and planning what we were gonna do today and I was like, four weeks already, wow. So this is week four. This will have been our 10th workout together today. Um, we do have a little bonus at the end of the workout where every rep count is in counts of 10. <laughs> so it kind of just worked out that way. Like it happened with seven and now it's happening with 10. So very cool. We're just gonna keep it like that. I like whenever we get a good theme going on, even when it's totally not intentional. Um, it's our 10th workout together today. We have our warm up this week. We start a new um, series of warm up exercises. So something new and fresh this week. Then we're gonna go into three by three. Now what that means is we have three rounds each consisting of three exercises. We're gonna perform each round twice and each exercise for 45 seconds with a 15 second break in between. Now, when we go into the repeat for the second time of each round, we're gonna treat it just as if we're still in the round. So sometimes when I do this, we'll do like say, the round is three or four exercises, so let's say three. Three exercises, we do the three, we follow that pattern, and then we have a longer break well, today what I want you thinking about is working consistently for six minutes. So it's 45 on, 15 off for three exercises. Then right after that 15 off of the third exercises, we go back to the top of the round and do one, two, and three again for a total of six. So each round, six minutes long, we got three of them. From there, we're gonna go into a little bonus challenge, pick up a little cardio work in that final round. It's five exercises, each 10 reps of each. So that's it, not on a time count, but on a rep count. Okay, as far as weight count today, weight size today, I drug out my eights, my tens, and my twelves. And I know that's kind of a range, and you think what really matters between eights and tens, and eights and twelves is really only four pounds each anyway. Well, I wanted to go heavier today because I know there's some exercises in here that I can go heavier with my 12s. But I also wanted to pull out my 8s and just in case my 10s because a couple of those exercises that I'm gonna go lighter on, one of them is a reverse chest fly where we're here and then one of them is that lateral arm raise. So those are just a couple going through my set and my notes that I knew, mm, these I'm gonna grab eights on, but then there's a few other moves that I'm like, ooh, this is something I could go heavier on, I want 12s for this. So whatever you have available to you, use what you've got. If you've got a good variety, get them all out so you can make the decision as we get there, after you see the demo, what it is that you'll wanna do. All right, you guys, we are gonna get started in our warm up. Like I said, new warm up today. Let's go ahead and start. Here's what it looks like, you guys. Arms are gonna reach up. Each time those arms pull down, the opposite knee pulls up. So think about like a high knee with that pull down reach. And I want you to give some effort into that pull down. Good, not just waving those arms, but pulling, pulling. Good, we got 10, nine, we got eight, and seven. Here's six, five from here. Side lunge, reach in three, in two, and one. So you're gonna take it into a side lunge. As you do, opposite of arm is going to reach over. Side lunge, reach over. Chest stays open to the front, reaching up and over with the arm. We got four more. All we're going to do is take this to the other side. In two, and one. Taking that side lunge, reach to the other side, over and up. We got three more. We're going to take it to a walk down to plank here. Two. And one, come to the narrow side of your mat, walk it down. You're gonna walk out to that plank and just hold. Everybody meet me in plank. Continue holding for the next 10, nice and flat. You can be on those toes or knees, back is flat. We're gonna take this to alternating shoulder taps in five, four, shoulder taps, two, and one. Alternating, up with that reach, up with the reach, good. Stay with it here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. Hold your plank in four. Stay in it. Three, two, and one. Holding that plank down, we're gonna open side to side. Give yourself that little stretch, opening the chest, reaching that arm up. Up, reach, and down. Up, reach, back to plank. We've got eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one more. Back 
to center, hold. We're gonna jump those feet wide like we're coming in for a burpee, but just one time to stand. Feet jump wide, three, two, and one, push off, jump wide. Stand up and give me that jog. <laughs> just jogging in place. We could have done an absolutely ordinary walk-in like we've done the last three weeks, but you know, there's some fun in that jump. Keep jogging here, I'm trying to get my timer set. Jog it out for another 10. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, y'all, warm up. That's what we'll see another two times this week on Wednesday and Friday. Here's what we've got. Round number one. You're gonna need your weights on this one for all three exercises. You might wanna go a little heavier on exercises one and two, and a little lighter on exercise three. So here's what it's gonna look like. With those dumbbells, you're going to have a pretty narrow squat stance with those weights right to your hips. You're gonna bend down on that squat. From here, you're gonna pull up like a hammer curl. You're gonna press it up, bring it down, drop. So it's squat, curl, press, down, down, okay? Then from there, we're gonna go into alternating side lunge with a hammer curl, other side, hammer curl. And then after your 15 second break here, if you would like to adjust down to lighter weights, this is where we've got that reverse fly with the stand and squeeze. Okay, it starts with that narrow squat curl to press in 15 seconds. So we got 45 on, 15 off. Narrow squat, curl to press, begins in eight. Feet just underneath those hips. We're gonna go to that squat, curl, press. In four, three, two, one. Squat down, curl it up, press it up, bring it down. Now if you'd like to, you can add in a little bounce to that curl. Squat, press, bring it down. Squat, curl, press. Bring it down. Good. 25 seconds right here. 45 seconds in each move. You'll get your 15 second break coming up. In 15. Woo! Curl. Press. Down. Down. We got 10. Curl. Press. Down. Down. We got 5. 4. 3. 2. And one, good, 15 second break. We're gonna go into that side lunge with the curl. So, a few times we're curling in this round. Side lunge, step out, alternating which side? In five, four, three, side lunge, two, and one. Take it over, step together, curl it up. Other side, together, and curl. When you step out into that side lunge, your non-moving leg and foot stay straight and planted. You're hinging over into that hip, then coming back to center and curl. 15 seconds right here. Chest stays lifted, core stays nice and tight. 10 seconds. We got six, five, I can't hear you, I can't see you, I'm working, your daddy is in there. Four, three, two, and one. Children trying to come in here. <laughs> Seven seconds, you guys, I'm gonna flip it out, switch it out, we got that reverse fly, to hip hinge in four, Woo, three, here we go, two, and one, forward hinge, fly wide, stand and squeeze. Forward hinge, fly wide, stand and squeeze. Really think about squeezing those shoulder blades together on the fly. You've got a slight bend of the elbows. Very, very important here to keep that back nice and flat. You're not hunched in it. You also don't have that dip, that sway position in your lower spine. 15 seconds right here. We got seven. We got five. Four, three, two, 
and one. 15 seconds and we're back to the top with that narrow squat, curl the press. We go in eight. Right back to the top and this round is done. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Narrow squat, curl it up, press it up, bring it down. Narrow squat, curl the press. Make sure you are lifting, pressing into those heels when you rise up from the squat. 30 seconds left. Get low into that narrow squat. I know you can. Set back, lift, squeeze, curl, press. We've got 12. 7. Here's 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Keep those weights, or if you want to change them out, side lunge to hammer curl in 8. Rounding out round one, we got one, two more moves left. Here we go, side lunge to curl in four, three, two, one. Step side together, curl it in. Good, everybody stay with it. I know you're pushing yourself right here. Not a whole lot of rest in between each of these exercises, but just enough. Up and in curl. 20 seconds. Fifteen. Woo! Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. I'm gonna switch out my weights to those eight. Reverse fly. Hip thrust in ten. Here we go, in five, four, hinging it forward, three, two, one. Remember, back is flat, palms are faced in on the start of that fly, and then face down as you swing those arms with control. Pull those shoulder blades together, release, squeeze, down and back. Good, y'all. So good. Right here. 20 seconds. Longer break coming from here. Round one will be done. Come on. We got 12. Eight. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ah, oh, good. Put those weights down. Grab your water. Take a little breather here. Going into round two with a new set of three unique exercises. Here's all we got. Move number one on this one. We're actually going to come down to our knees. I want you to keep your weights pretty close to your mat here because you need weights for one and three, but not in two. Okay? So move number one in this one is a high row alternating with that arm raise out. So palms face in, elbows lead the way up. We drop down, knuckles lead the way down. Then arms lift up and out. Just a slight flip, flip of those wrists from facing your thighs in front to facing your thighs on the side as we switch between that high row and arm raise. From there, you're gonna drop those weights. Take your 15 seconds here to breathe. The reason we're doing this one from our knees is because it makes it easier to get down into that plank position. For 45 seconds, we have alternating cross climbers. Now, if you're on those knees, you can do what we did in warm up here, that shoulder tap. Either way you're working, this is core focus and a little bit of cardio on the movement here. Move number three, we're gonna swing back around. You're gonna grab those weights again, and we're gonna go to alternating weighted dead bugs. Up and in on that lift, one arm out, one leg out. All right, guys, let's get started in eight. Here we go. I'm probably gonna flip around the other way just so my booty is not right up on that camera. Here we go. High row to arm raise, three, two, and one. One high row up, one arm raise out. High row up, arm raise out. 
keep control of it, squeezing from those shoulders. Core is nice and tight here. Just about 20 seconds to go here. We'll take our 15 second break, putting those weights down right beside your mat so they're easy to grab when we need it for those dead bugs. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Weights come down, take your 15 seconds. If you need to roll out those shoulders, we go in 10, plank position to those cross climber knee pulls. Otherwise from the knees, you got shoulder taps in four, in three, plank position two, and one. Here we go, pulling those knees at a walking pace. This isn't a mountain climber like you're running it out. You're pulling, squeezing the knee in toward the opposite elbow. Good. Stay with it. Let me catch that time. Good, good. We got this. 20 seconds. You can do it. Shoulders on top of those wrists. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Here's 10. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, down in three, in two, and one. Bring it down. Ah, oh, we're gonna flip it over and around. You got those alternating dead bugs. Come on down. Knees up, arms up, palms turned in. We go in four, three, two, and one. Opposite leg and arm. Reach it out, squeeze it in. Opposite leg and arm. Squeeze it in. We've got about 30 more seconds right here. We're gonna stay low, flip it over. After our 15 second break, we go into that alternating high row to arm raise. Twelve seconds. We have just enough time. Drop those weights, flip over, transition over, grab the weights again, high row to arm raise in three, two, and one. Elbows down, knees down. Come on up, flip it over onto your mat, get ready to grab those weights again in five. High row to arm raise, three, two, and one. Elbows up, arms up. So good, y'all. So good. Right here. Up and out. Down with control. Lift, squeeze. Down with control. In weightlifting, it's not always about how many reps you get in. It is about the control of the movement. Up. Woo. And down. We got 15 seconds. Shoulders on fire. Remember, if you can, you have the option to drop your weights, drop the size of weights, or drop them all together. We got three, we got two, and one. Drop those weights, roll shoulders, getting ready to hit plank position for those cross climbers. In six, on the hands, on the toes if you can, knees for shoulder taps if you have to, four, three, here we go, two, and one, pull across. Across. Right here, stay with it. Keep going. Squeeze in. Pull those hips over. Squeeze that knee to the elbow. Stay with it. Stay with it. 20 seconds. You can do anything for 20 seconds. Keep breathing, keep holding. We got 10, nine, eight, seven. Woo, here's five, four. We are down in three, in two, and one. Yes. Flip it over. Dead bugs. Last move in round two. We got eight. Woo. We got six. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Opposite arm and leg. Reach it up and in, squeeze. Opposite arm and leg, Woo! reach it up and in, squeeze. <sighs> 
20 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Focus on that control from the abs. We've got 10. Keep your back flat. Don't let it gap up, creating any space. Keep it flat, press it down. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Drop those elbows. Drop your weights. We got one more strength round. Roll it up. Okay, this round has a little bit of focus on balance, stability, and control. A little bit of lower and upper body work. So, let's hit it. This is the round I was intending to go a little heavier on. If you would like to join me in that endeavor, please do. All right, here are our three moves. Single leg deadlift, hinging forward with the hips. You're gonna be holding those weights. You can either fully kick the opposite leg back or hold it behind you like that kickstand. From there, we're gonna row and stand. Remember, you're focusing on the hinge and the stretch and activation of that left hamstring when we're on this left side. So it's either forward hinge, very, very little weight in that back leg, or as you hinge, kicking it up. That's where that balance really comes into play here. That's move number one. Move number two, with both weights, feet nice and wide, sumo squat, pause at the top, press at the top, sumo squat, pause, press, then we go into that right side single leg deadlift. We repeat them, left, sumo squat, right. Here we go, both weights. If you can, go heavy on this one. We go in five, left foot stays planted first. Three, two, one, hinge it forward either balancing or with that right toe right behind you. When you come up, woo, lift the chest. You can tap that toe and right back down. When you row, squeeze those elbows up high, but keep them close to the body here. Knuckles stay face down, palms stay face in. We got 15 more seconds. Forward hinge, pull a row, release, lift from the hinge. We got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. 10 seconds now, sumo squat to that press, weights at the shoulders. We go in five, feet nice and wide, knees and toes turn out. Here we go, three, two, one. Sumo squat and Press, release, sumo, press, oh, up, down, and up, Woo. twenty seconds, right here, up, we got fifteen, let's push through this together, final round, 10, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Keep those weights, keep those weights. I know you can stay heavy. Right foot on your mat, left toe back. Getting ready for that deadlift hinge with the row. In five, four, breathe. Three, two, and one. Slow that heart rate down, control your breath. Up on the row. And up from the hinge. When you are wanting to focus on bringing your heart rate down, it starts with your breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. 25 seconds remaining here. Totally normal to feel wobbly, <laughs> to lose it, to come out of it. Like I said, completely normal. Up. <laughs> And lift. We've got 10. Press into your heel. Keep a nice soft bend in that right knee, not locked out. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. 15 seconds. Right to the left side. Right to the left side. 10. We got seven, six. Here we go. Same move, but to the left. In four, 
three, two, one. Forward lean hinge. I am way more balanced on my left side. So it is also completely normal to have a one side that this just feels a little bit more natural. Maybe you're not as wobbly, not needing to come out of it as much. And then on the other side, feeling like, what the heck happened here? <laughs> it's totally normal. 20 seconds, y'all. Ooh, arms are going to feel this tomorrow. A little sneaky with those arms today. Seven, six. I do my best for you to really get in hard work without knowing you're getting in hard work. Three, two, and one. Shake it out, shake it out. Sumo squats and press. In eight, feet wide, knees and toes turn out. Weights and load it up to those shoulders. Let's go in four, three, two, one. Squat and press. If you would like to take out the pause here, you sure can. Completely up to you. Twenty five seconds. Fifteen. Press into those heels. Squeeze that back side. Ten. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Right foot down. Let's go back for that deadlift hinge. Adding in that row, we go in six, five. Right foot down, here we go, three, two, one. Control the breath. Forward hinge, float up that back leg if you can. If not, keep the toe down like a kickstand. I use that reference a lot. Kickstand, you're kind of using it to stabilize but not putting much body weight in it. The work is still very much in that front right leg. And to get that full engagement on the right, you gotta lean your body weight into that right side. Soft, soft bend in that knee, pressing into the heel. We've got 10. We've got five, four, three, two, and one, yes. Drop those weights. Rounds one, two, and three are done. But I did give a little notice of this bonus round. It consists of 10 exercises, no, five exercises that we're gonna do each for a rep count of 10. I will lead you through it. We go body weight squats down and up for 10. Alternating Curtsy lunge, each way one and two counts individually. Left, right, that's two, left, right, that's four. Then from there, we got those squat thrusters. Hands down, toes back, feet wide, stand and squeeze. A total of 10 of those, then we'll take it down back to that plank position and hit 10 push-ups. From there, we're gonna roll up and we have leg extension crunches. Those are your five moves, 10 of each, and we are out of here. Let's do it, you guys. In 10, it starts with 10 squats, down and up. In five, four, down and up body weight squats in three, two, one, down, up. Now I do want you to count your own, just in case we're not on the same rep count here. Totally cool, six more. Five, four, three, two, and one, we come up from here. If you're into this now, curtsies over, across, over. That would be two. After 10 of these, we're into those squat thrusters. Here's six, if you're with me. Seven, Woo. feel that stretch. Eight, two more of these. Nine, we got squat thrusters. Here we go. It's hands, toes, heels, that's one. Hands, toes, heels. You can step. Hands, toes, heels. Three, four, five more. Four.
four, three more, two, one more, all the way up. Now you can step or jump back to that plank. Ten push ups. Six, five, four, three, two. After that, tenth one, flip it over, leg extension, crunches. Knees to elbows, both legs extend out. Knees to elbows, reach it up. Three, reach. Four, reach. Five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze it in tight. Nine, one more, all the way in, all the way out. Hold, hold, hold. Reach those arms out, hold. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Lower those heels down if you can. 5, 4, 3. Knees come in, 2, and 1. Knees come in, head, neck, and shoulders down. Breathe. <laughs> Woo! I started my tracker right as we were getting started. That was about 28 and a half minutes. Perfect. Just roll here, side to side. Little massage of those shoulders, of that spine, I should say. We're gonna let both legs go out long. Reach those arms up overhead. We're gonna go into that yoga sit up in three, two, and one. Reach it up, up for those toes, and let's flip this over here. Raise those hands back. Whew. You're gonna take that left foot, step it forward. Come into that lunge position so you're feeling that stretch down the right frontal hip. And then reach over into that side body stretch. Holding for 10. That right hand is going to come down inside of that right foot in four, three, two, and one. Right hand comes down. Now open up that left arm toward the right. Left arm reaching to the ceiling. And if you can here, bring that right knee up. So tuck the toes under and lift into that lunge. That left hand is going to come down outside of the left foot in five, four, Three, two, and one. Now you have one hand on either side of the foot. You're gonna drop that right knee and then set back. Now flexing the foot and sitting back to really get the, the elongation of the back of that left leg. That's that hamstring stretch we need. Woo. Now from here you're gonna come back into that lunge. Lift that back right leg and slowly, slowly lifting up into that high lunge. Back leg is straight, still feeling a stretch here. We're gonna turn it out and open. Both toes now are gonna turn inward, so everything is squared up, and we're gonna take it into that forward fold. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop that back right knee. You're facing the front of your mat again. You're gonna take your left knee down, your right foot up, and take it into that forward hinge. Now, I wanted to stay facing this way, so I'm gonna be facing the camera, but you could have made that a really swift transition and just leaned over to the right side and been facing the back of your mat for that right side stretch. Let's take it into that side body stretch here, leaning over, left hand over the body and out toward that right side. Left hand comes down inside the left foot in five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. You can lift that left leg up. Open up that right arm toward the left side. Excuse me, toward the right side. So you're in that spinal twist here toward that front leg. That right hand is gonna come down outside of that right foot in three, two, and one. Drop that back left knee, set back, and get that hamstring stretch up. I like to kind of tent my hands so that my fingertips are down. Just kind of give myself space here to set back into it. Pull back with my hips, holding here for another eight, seven, six, we got five, four, bring it forward in two, and one. From here, back the left toe is going to lift, slowly, slowly those hands raise up into that high lunge. We got eight, seven, we're going to take both hands down and out wide, and then step back to plank in four, three, two, and one. Both hands down outside that right foot, step it back to plank. And then lift those hips into down dog. 
Adjust that down dog what you need. You can walk those hands in a little bit. You can separate those feet a little bit. Lifting the hips up and pressing the heels down. Let's take it into that pedal in three, two, and one. Pedaling right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. We walk those hands in four toward the toes in three, two, one. Start walking those hands in. From here, reverse long dive up with a bend of those knees, reach up, pull all that good energy in and down. We are done. Happy Monday, everybody. Awesome job today. Oh, I'm going to do um, a separate post on this, but I want everybody to know that on Wednesday of this week, our live is going to be at 10 a.m. Not 9 a.m., but at 10 a.m. My oldest son, Mason, is graduating fourth grade. I don't know if you say graduating fourth grade, finishing fourth grade. And for our school, that's the last year of elementary. So they're doing a fourth grade clap out for those kiddos. So I know myself will be there. Crystal, Jenna, <laughs> will be there for our kiddos or just knowing that our kiddos have that. I wanted to say 9.30, but I mean, I'm sure this is going to be quick, but I didn't want to be rushing to get back and all of that. So just to make sure, 10 o'clock on Wednesday for our live this week rather than that 9 o'clock. All right, you guys, I know you did awesome in this workout. That was a doozy. Congrats on getting it done. Way to start week four off strong. I'll see y'all later this week.